Hey guys, Tomboy601, and today, Random Bundles, the all new mechanic that came to World of Warships Legends this update. Uh, we're gonna go over everything you need to know about it. It's been over on PC for a while, but we now have this implementation. So I wanna kinda cover what's going on, uh, go through all of the mechanics behind it, uh, help break down the math in, in it so that you can best make up your mind as to how you should engage with this new mechanic. Because, well, uh, like anything Wargaming introduced, it is designed to take your money. So uh, let's let's be smart about it and let's fully understand before we start uh, pulling the levers of this sorta slot machine. So, uh, random bundles, what are they? Well, uh, it, they are the new mechanic to get ships in early access. Uh, if For this update, early access is, avail is available for the Italian destroyers. And the way random bundles work is basically there are 40, uh, or at least for this release, there are 40 pre-programmed bundles. They all have an equal chance to drop. And you actually get a preview of what your drop will be. Uh, if you want to see what those available bundles are, what you can do is you can hit, when looking at your current next available bundle, you can hit the left stick and you'll be brought into a nice grid menu that will show you what are the possible drops out of these random bundles? Now, a uh, couple of things you under need to understand. One, there are 40 of these, or at least in this drop, there are 40 versions of it. Um, and they are all equally weighted, which is pretty cool because that means, uh, you know, nothing is particularly heavy weighted. You're, you're not getting lucky to get the tier seven as opposed to the tier four but there are still a couple of caveats for it. In this case, um, with 40 bundles, that means each bundle has a 2.5% chance of dropping, or the bundle that you want has a 2.5% chance of dropping. And what's important to realize is right now, uh, in the game, there are still the traditional early access crates available, well, not for money, but as rewards in the campaign, and right now for doing the uh, the calendar that's going on, there's a couple of drops in there. And when you realize that, you should probably look at what the drop rates of that calendar are because um, there are some ships that are you, that you are more likely to get when uh, using the crates, and there are some ships that you're more likely to get when using the random bundles. So uh, if we look at the drop rates for the Italian destroyers, uh, the tier four has a 5% chance in the crates, and the tier five has a 2.5% chance in the crates, which means there's an equal percent chance over the crates. Then uh, the tier seven and the tier six are at 0.02% and 0.01% in the crates, which means you are way more likely to get those using the random bundles. Uh, that's just some nice things to know because uh, one kind of thing that isn't really advertised within the random bundles is that if you pull a ship from the crate, you can still get it um, as your next random bundle. But if you purchase uh, that random bundle, you will actually be refunded the cost for getting the ship. Um, and it does have a nice bonus because uh, I believe uh, when you get the ship in the crate, you won't get the, per the, uh, the unique mission, the personal mission that comes along with the ships those have doubloons attached to them. So if you're someone who pulls a ship from the crates, uh, it may behoove you if you see that it is coming in on your random bundle, if it's the next one that you can pull on your random bundle, it definitely behooves you to pick it up because one, you'll get refunded the cost of that bundle, and two, you'll then make some extra doubloons back through that personal mission. So those are kind of the things that you need to be aware about using the random bundles. Uh, Personally, I do like this system. I do think it's an improvement over just the crates alone. It lets you at least know exactly what you are getting for the contents of uh, the, the money that you are spending. Uh, additionally, uh, oh, one other thing. The contents of the next bundle are determined at the time of purchasing the most recent bundle. So it's not like uh, you load into the update and have a predetermined loot table. No, it's just a random roll each time you buy a new bundle as to what the next bundle is going to be. But what I wanted to say is I really like the system. Um, and there's a couple of things to remember. One, 
uh, for this, these ships are going to be in early access. That means they're going to be free next update. It will just take time in order to accrue them, which means, hey, guess what? You can just go ahead and uh, uh, not engage in this, and you don't need to know anything. But for those of you who used to, you know, go out there and buy 10 crates every time new ships came to early access, uh, now you'll know precisely what you're getting each time you pull um, for the random bundle, which I think is excellent. One downside is there's no, like... Uh, the, the discount, there's no, like, big discount for purchasing, uh, you know, anything other than all of them at once, which is a bit unfortunate. But now we do have a hard limit. It is a much lower number than the guaranteed crate system that we have seen. I, I think, overall, this is a much bigger improvement um, just because you know exactly what you're getting. And uh, that... <laughs> you can't you can't underestimate that uh taking the gambling out of the game anyways guys uh those are random bundles if you have any questions let me know down in the comments below if you like the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day see ya